Despite some hiccups, Team USA still holding its own in the medal count. We racked up 10 medals yesterday, putting us just one behind China. Just three days into the games, Team USA already has five gold medals and 12 medals total. And Ruby, you're tracking more of the big moments from Tokyo this morning. Yeah, let's talk about it. 508 is the time right now, folks. Good morning. And Simone Biles, she tweeted or posted on social media about her performance for the gymnastics qualifiers, saying that it was not easy. It was actually hard. And she kind of described how the Olympics is no joke. But guess what? She is moving on to the finals. No surprise there. And we are hoping that she is ready, set to get to go to that. When it comes to Naomi Osaka, she has been dominating for Team Japan. In fact, she says she's happy and that's the most important thing after she took a small break for her mental health. So we'll be definitely following her journey. And then another Olympic athlete making history, this 46 year old gymnast who has competed in her eighth Olympic uh, uh, Olympic Games. And she says what a career after not making it any further. But at the end of the day, she is making history. That is the most athlete has ever competed in the Olympics. So congratulations to her. And when we're talking about our local athletes, Evie Leapfarth, uh, she's made it to the semifinals for kayaking, and she is set to go to her next game on Tuesday. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that she keeps on making it because we are trying to go for the gold. Ben and Sarah? That's right. Yeah, she trains at the Whitewater Center here. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, all the local athletes that we do have right? competing. Right here. And I there know. are a lot more, so keep your eyes open. Cheering on all of them. All right, Rubes, thanks.